You yeah, know. Tom and I had such an incredible experience on, on Edge of Tomorrow, and, and uh, you know, because it was like we push each other, you know, and but it's also like a very honest relationship. Um, and, you know, it was the kind of situation where Tom's giving a performance that's not working, and I could be like, oh, Tom, that's, uh, that's and he'd just be like, it's terrible. Like, yeah, you, you were terrible. He goes, yeah. yeah, I knew I was terrible. I'm like, yeah, no, you, you really were terrible. And, yeah. you know, when you can have that kind of, like, honest relationship, and it's, right, because eventually we're going we're gonna to face you. We're going to face the critics. We're going to face the world. So we might as well be honest with each other. Now, you say he pushes you, too. I don't know if it's when it comes to the stunts. I know he notoriously likes to do everything he can possibly do, even to the point where they're like, you cannot do that. Yeah. I don't know if that's where he's pushing you, partly, or were you open to that? Just go ahead and do your own. No, I mean, you know, it's a great uh, advantage as a filmmaker to have your, your star able to do the stunts because, you know, you can then shoot it for real. You're not having to, to, ha to use visual effects or fake it or put cuts where you don't want to have cuts. Um, so uh, it was a huge asset for American Made that, that Tom is doing all his own flying. Yes. It's, it's not a publicity thing. I mean, it really, oh, no, it really no. helps as, as a filmmaker. Yeah, some filmmakers get nervous because they're responsible for the film. So they're like, because he really, he just got injured on a, another film. But uh, that's the one thing that um, he, that's, he's very different that way with, a, you know, the fact that he absolutely insists on this. It's, it's, yeah, I mean, I think in this case, because it was airplanes, yeah. like... And he flies you're, a little and bit. He, you're not, and I'm a pilot, so yeah. I, I really do know the risks. And it's, it wasn't one of these situations where you're, like, worried if he's going to, like, you know, hurt his ankle. It yeah. was like, you know, because I'm in the airplane with him often. It was either me or Cesar Charloni, the DP, who's in the airplane with him, and then someone else would be in a helicopter flying alongside. Um, you know, is, you're like, if something goes wrong, like, I don't need to worry about the movie because I'm not going to be here. Well, you know, and you were talking about, you know, when you would say your performance isn't doing too well, uh, let's do it again. This is actually a different, we, we haven't really seen him in this kind of light. Yeah. It kind of almost reminded me of his days in Risky Business, this kind of. No, I'm, I'm glad you brought up Risky yeah. Business because that is, I mean, I, I like to think that I'm sort of showing people a side of Tom Cruise, you know, you haven't seen before, you know, because I do really like poking fun at him and, he, you know, he is this international brand, but to mm -hmm. be like, you know. Let's, I'm going to have him play a character that just flies in the face of sort of everything you think of when you think Tom Cruise. But the reality is that, like, what he's doing in American Made is not that far off from the film that really made him into a star in the first place, yeah, Risky right. Business. Because Risky Business, he plays a high schooler who starts a brothel. Mm -hmm. In American Made, he plays a pilot flying for the CIA who figured out how to become one of the wealthiest men in America at the same time. It, it's just the crazy... It, so it, same kind of opportunism, yeah. you know. If there's that wow well factor, like, really... The, like the, he's shoving money everywhere. I mean, yeah. nobody can relate to that. They can relate to like what that might feel like, but there were, it's just one of those. No, and the, I love that for Barry Seal. The money wasn't yeah. even what he was doing it. It becomes a problem. Yeah. Like he was just doing it to see if he could get away with it. Yeah. And, you know, um, I wanted to, I know that there was a, on set you had an accident. Yeah. But I, you, it's out there. You're reading about it. I, it's not very clear because what I understand, this didn't happen while filming. The no. Crash. Yeah. I wanted to they hear were just, from you about that. Um, no, they were ferrying the airplane home, yeah. and it's just a reminder that you know flying is dangerous. I mean, it's Tom and I knew it. I mean, that's mm -hmm. why I said you know, you know, I'm not worried about the movie. I'm 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 worried about us and our safety. Yeah. You know, because it, it's, you know, I love flying. I genuinely love it. I wish it wasn't as dangerous as it is, but it, the the track record for for pilots in small planes is, is awful and it doesn't matter over it hasn't changed in 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 you know in a hundred years of aviation like the the you know it's measured by accidents per hour flown and it's basically the same there's nothing they can do it's just it's it's always the same number the same percentage like you know yeah. two two fatal accidents per hundred thousand hours flown like it's it's just it's just a reminder i mean we knew it every day filming that mm -hmm. these airplanes are dangerous and they are and, you know, we're, we're doing, you know, really, uh, and then we're doing dangerous things with the airplanes right. where, you know, we're flying them in and out of very remote airstrips. Tom's landing airplanes at night in an airstrip lit only by pickup trucks yeah. or pickup truck, one truck. 